Uh, so I used to go back and play with the guys in the summer every now and again, and Jimmy, you know, he was a hustle man. He was kind of, you know, the guy who defend, knock down some corner threes, but I didn't really think nothing of Jimmy like that. And so the draft comes, and Jimmy get drafted 30th pick. And I say, wow, good for Jimmy. Like, good for Jimmy. He made it in the NBA. Didn't think he was going to be that good. <laughs> and then first couple years in Chicago, my guy's on the bench. I see him over there with that weak fro, and I'm like, there go my guy Jimmy. <laughs> but Jimmy don't talk to me because Thibodeau didn't like the heat, so Jimmy never yeah. talked to me. Mm. So I see Jimmy out in L.A. I don't know if Jimmy remembered. I seen Jimmy, Jimmy out in L.A. at, like, one of the parties like for, like, SB weekend, whatever the case may be, and Jimmy don't speak to me at all. I'm like, dang, that's, that was my, okay, whatever. He changed. So, he changed. He, he changed on me. So it goes from me saying, damn, good for Jimmy, to me having to call Jimmy at some point later on in my career and say, hey, man, can I come to Chicago? Can I play with <laughs> you? <laughs> Yo, we was, we was taught to hate y'all, man, and hate everything about the Miami Heat. And mm. I understand why. Y'all used to beat our ass on a regular basis. <laughs> it was like damn near disrespectful. Like how you just disrespected me throughout that whole story about how I wasn't good. <laughs> it was blatantly disrespectful the way you used to beat up on us in Chicago, man. Yeah. I mean, if, if the roles were reversed, you would hate me too. You would. Mm. Shaq? Nope. So you, you hate me? I don't have any more questions. I just want to know how. Yo. That's what you said. I don't give a damn what you're talking about. That's what you said. <laughs> Who has a better hang? That's what the hell you said. Uh, okay. I have, I have another question. Right, Jimmy? I was going to, yeah, I was going right, to. He did, he did say that. Thank he you. That's what you said. We're going to roll the tape. We're going to check it. I'm sure you are Go for it again. Yeah, we're this so you could change it. You could, like, say something else and they could, you know. You're right. I'll dub it over. for? To, I'm, this was something like we made, we made this game. We play. Oh, we want to play a game? Yeah. Jimmy, we're going to play? Hold on. D-Wade had another question. No, don't worry about it. Go ahead. Yeah, we good, man. Move on. Okay. Well, I wanted to you guys to rate Jimmy Butler singing this song in the locker room, but give it a one out of ten. Can we hear well, it? Jimmy, we found an old clip. Yeah, let's take a listen. Old Jimmy in the locker room. Don't need to stay off my Instagram or wherever you got this. Oh, okay. Feet work. Feet work. Oh, that's easy. I get out of nine. Yeah, you would. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you would. <laughs> I get a nine, man. That's a nine. Jimmy, a, does does Dwayne complain? I'm gonna give him a ten. The feet work was nice. The rhythm was nice. He even put his shirt on. In the uh, middle of it. Yeah, in the middle of it. So I'm gonna I'm give you a ten, Jimmy boy. Jimmy, did Dwayne complain to you as much about people being upset with the dunk contest nine that he does to us? Did he confide in you? He's like, why is everyone being hard on me? Nah. Okay. Because uh, truthfully. I really don't think that he cares. Like, I mean, it is what it is. DJ that man won. Didn't clear that man. Did. He can't get no ten if he didn't clear the man. I I'm with you on this, D. Wade. Shaq. Me that too. Man, Shaq was on my team. 